Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Isaac series. What a three win streak right now. Hell yes, we're getting up there and we are playing some Tainted Azazel today. That works for me. I do like Tainted Azazel, especially with this new Brimstone thing. I've not really played him much since the, uh, since the rework. The Sneeze is still a little bit awkward to get used to compared to how it used to be, but I think it is for the better. I'm gonna take a pill. Hey! A speed up off the bat, but yeah, of course, the, the, the basically changed, oh my, that was a bit bullshit. I sneezed directly on that spider and it was like, hell no. Yeah, it's still a little bit difficult to, like, how to use the sneeze, because it, like, auto does it now, kind of? I don't really know the best way to describe it, but, uh, oh my god, I'm playing like an absolute fool right now, an absolute fool. That's not secret room either. I really thought that would be secret room. Um... Yeah, it's, it's still a little hard to get used to, but I'm getting there with it. I'm definitely getting there with it. Right, let's see what we can get in here. Ace hey, and pennies, and ooh, lovely. Some red hearts I can't use. <laughs> I know there's a few odd mods out there that do stuff like filter out red hearts for characters that can't take them and stuff. I, I think it's one of those things where, ooh, what the hell? Okay, so I just took a look at um, Rooms Galore, which is of course the Rooms mod that I work, that I uh, use, and the, um, <laughs> the the patch notes said, added some very special and rare boss rooms. I'm going to guess this is one of them. Um, I very well could die in this room, because two baby plums is very much nothing to joke about. Holy hell. Okay, now we've got the... Uh, the brimstone rage death thing, which would be okay, but yeah. A little bit tricky. Oh, thank you. Please give me soul hearts. Please. Oh, you beast. But yes, said that added some very rare and special boss rooms. I do hope they are rare, because that one is not only tough, but also potentially quite strong. We didn't get actually that much out of the mega poop there. I think petrified poop is really what makes that good. But um, we got we got enough to be happy. Okay, these guys charge at the with the force of a thousand suns, so let's uh, be careful around them. Do you know what? I'm going to let you uh, eat that bomb to the face. There you go. Have some fun with that. Okay, where the hell's our item room? We might, we might very well want to go to the shop here. Oh, I always forget these dudes can... Um, I always forget these dudes can go through walls. You've got to be really careful. Right, check out our shop here. Ooh, a bit of a sack head there as well. Um, intriguing. If we could manage to get the money for that, that would be kind of pleasant. Trying to destroy all the poops I can here. And then, of course, the dumpy room. Gotta have some sweet dumpy dumpy action. Excuse me, dumpy. Thank you. Um, ooh. Grant's prize upon defeating bosses without being hit. Well, good job we didn't take that before on this floor, because we would not have achieved that. Ooh, half soul heart as well. Um, but still. We didn't get a cash room this floor. I still would like to find my, uh, my thingy room, my secret room, but I'm really not sure. I'm gonna gamble and say here. I'm not 100% confident, but there you go. And we got the uh, the evil charm here, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, mainly just a luck upgrade more than anything else. It would have been better to get something else, but lucky charm isn't terrible. Uh, and do you know what? We'll head down to the downpour. I don't know what our goal was here, the lamb. We will take that. I'm taking the goal with a pinch of salt, I'll be honest. I'm kind of just going wherever I like. Just two polities here. They're just gonna bail now, aren't they? Yeah. I gotta say, there's nothing else for them to grab. Okay, good stuff. Okay, unfortunately couldn't get Sackhead, but that's alright. We'll probably end up being able to get something on the shop of this floor instead. Got our deal with the devil chance, which should stay intact. I mean, basically has to, because we don't have um, any way of losing it unless we die. So I would really hope it stays intact. Ooh, we got Flyboy again. I'm not always gonna take Flyboy. It's it starts off not very great, but by the by the last floor that it's active, it's very, very good. Of course, for those of you that don't know what Flyboy does, Flyboy is like a staging of each floor. We get a, a permanent upgrade and eventually become Beelzebub. Uh we, we gain the Beelzebub transformation. So uh, it, it's pretty good. We we get like sort of um, upgrades each time. Ooh, I would very much like that. Um, uh, most of the early upgrades are damage ups per floor, so 100% very, very useful. Of course, right now, car battery does absolutely nothing for us, but I really don't think that's a reason to not take it. It's a, it's a very, very good item, one of my favorites in the game, so we just kind of take it for, uh, 
for later on and hope for the best. Lots of, lots of money here. Even without the petrified poop pickup. Right. So if we can manage to do this boss without taking any damage, which I have to say isn't super, super likely. Just because this is a hard boss. Oh no, we did it. We'll gain extra rewards. We gained a luck penny. Uh, two luck pennies. Okay. I'd, I've got to say that's pretty good. Because we didn't gain red health HP, I'm going to skip out on the devil deal and go angel. Um, but yeah, we, we're, we're sitting at four luck now, which is very, very good. Uh, I'm going to pop in here and um, full card out. Of course, it didn't end up paying off. We might still get a room reward though. There you go. Oh, hello. It did pay off. Do you know what? That's very worthwhile. Very worthwhile indeed. And now basically my, my sort of biggest hope is that we managed to get ourselves a nice little, um, ooh, one of the Ipecac rooms here. These enemies fit into this floor very well. Um, I'm really hoping we get a nice little active item. But yeah, these enemies are very fitting of this floor. Really cool. Considering they weren't designed for downpour, they fit downpour so well. Enemies can't herm on us. Tinfoil hat, we might as well take it. And there you go. The double active shoot the whoop. I'm pretty sure it does actually double activate as well. How did I not get it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you cheeky fucker! <laughs> it dropped Leech at the other side of the barrier. That's not fair. This is another one of the Apicac rooms. This one does need reworking, though. The mushrooms are uh, enemies that the devs have decided don't fit into this floor too well, so I'm happy to change those. I just need to get around to doing it. I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm not quite sure what's happening. I think when I'm double activating um, Shoop the Whoop, it's having a really hard time using it. I don't really know why, uh, but we'll we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how double activating Shoop the Whoop really is working for us, but it seems positive. Even even if it's do even if it isn't working, I would say it's a very very good um, active nonetheless. A very, very good active nonetheless. I'm so, so annoyed that it, it kept my leechy baby away from me. My leechy baby's the best friend of mine. How could you do this? Oh my god, these fucking things. Luckily, they're a lot slower than the normal flies. They're actually a bit easier to get at, but still. Okay. Dumb piece again. Just keep our distance. We'll be fine. Hey, speed up as well. Hell yes. I will definitely take a speed up. Okay, we probably will get hit on this boss fight. I'm just saying this this attack here that he does always hits me. And, of course, he's going to do it multiple times. Oh, no, we, we got lucky. Just don't get hit by the leeches. And we get ourselves some more rewards. Another luck penny. The bloody clover. Um, the more empty heart containers you have, the higher luck bonus you gain. Of course, that doesn't really do anything for us, so as a reflected, it's not the greatest payoff, so I'm probably going to leave it. Um, we haven't been to our shop yet. I can't believe I missed out on that, considering the uh, sheer amount of money we have right now. Secret room-wise, I'm a little befuzzled on this one, I have to say. Just line up with the door here, because it very well could be right here. I don't know, though. Yeah, there you go. Uh, just a chest. Ooh, Mega Troll Bomb. Pop that to do for me. I've got to say, the coupon on a double use is very good. So let's let's roll for a good item here. Steam sale's decent, but with the coupon, we can get so much better. Present. I will take present. And does car battery affect this? I don't think it does. Glitched crown. Oh. This doesn't restock the shop, does it? It does? What? Okay. I did not know that. Um, we probably want the tinted mask here. So, we want to be pausing the one before the tinted mask, which is booster pack. Yeah, we got it. Nice one. Tinted mask is great. 
Um, and we can't afford 9 volt here, so we'll leave that for now. Uh, if there's some way that we could afford it, it'd be great. But I'm not really seeing it. But this is um this has led to an interesting run. Do you know what? I'm trying to think of how difficult the rooms were. Like, could we do many of them as the ghost? Because all I'm thinking here is if we go mirror dimension. I mean, to be fair, we should be taking the white fire to get the leech anyways. I just remembered that we can do that. So let's do that first at least. But I'm just trying to think of like, should we, um, should we be doing this? Like, trying to do the rest of the floor? I think so. I think so. Just because I can't remember any rooms that were ridiculously difficult. And, um... And we could really get some good payoffs out of this. Just keep... Basically, just keep it... Keep our distance from these fellas. And kind of harder enemies here. We're trying to look for more money, ideally, and there's some already. Okay, this this room was the one that, that really can get me. Basically, just keep our distance here. I think we'll be fine. These ghosts are going to just fuck off, yep. There's a bomb as well. Leech versus leech. Some leech on leech action. Okay. Okay. Kill the little jumpy dudes last, I think. These dudes here, they can be very problematic. Where are you? There you are. Just because of the jump he does. Okay, we can prevent the jump. Some more bombs. Okay. Right. I think this room was hard, wasn't it? I can't remember. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. No, it wasn't. Okay, good. Though, it's... I think it's the room next to the boss that was difficult. But again, I think we'll be okay. I, I really want to play out this as much as we can. I really don't want to die. That would suck so hard. But I do want to try and get every advantage we can out of this. Okay, yeah, it was this room I'm thinking of. Okay, that's good. That's one of them. Take them out one by one. Please give us money. M, no thank you. I'm going to go for the gamble. Oh, damn. I forgot. We've got the tainted mask. This should be easy. And it did give us the upgrade again. Double luck penny and money. Okay, I didn't even think about the possibility of that. Um, I think we want to go for the sty here, right? Um, sty comes after matchbook. Ah, oh, we got matchbook. That's fine. The bombs are the bombs are respectable. I can I can deal. Right. Let's go back through. Not always going to hit the mark with um with glitch crown every time, but we've put ourselves in a better spot now. So what I believe we do now is we buy nine volt just because nine volts good. Um. So we go back through, we buy 9 volt because 9 volt's good, and then we go for another reroll and use coupon. So we grab 9 volt here, which is after Mum's purse, I believe. Yeah, it is. There's 9 volt, and then we restock the shop, and we got it again. Okay, so now we, we go... I don't know if we need to use coupon on the item we want, but I'm going to try to. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, so now we really want to get the golden um, the golden champion belt. So golden champion belt is Mr. Me. Okay, it's after the Mr. Me box. No! <laughs> that's so bad for us. I don't care what I get here. Okay, that's a real fucking shame. Um... Right. I can't believe I missed it. That would have literally doubled our damage. 
That's a real shame. Anyways, we out of here. God damn. I need to get better at my at my uh, glitched crown grabs. We had red stew in there as well, which would have also been very, very good. Um, so either way, bit of a bummer, bit of a loss. But at the same time, we've been getting the golden uh, thingy quite a lot, and it's, it's really overpowered. So at the same time, I'm not too miffed. We're also on a very good run nonetheless here. Um, but yeah, I'm liking the car battery coupon thing we've got going on right now. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. One bad thing about Glitch Crown is it is going to take a lot of items out of our pool. Because once they've been seen in Glitch Crown, they can't be seen again. So we're not going to be seeing Golden Thingy again. Fire is pretty good right now. I'm liking that. Um, when reaching a new floor, has a chance to hatch into a familiar. Taking damage is a chance to break it. Yeah, okay. Seems decent enough. Ah, secret room opened. Nice. We got. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that instead. They do contact damage. Sounds good. Soul of Lilith gives us a little spewer. Gives us nothing. Okay. Do you know what? You you blow up this at least. Thank you. Little Spear's cute. He's, he's fine. But yeah, Familiar's doing contact damage is going to be really good with Leech because it's basically going to double his damage output. Birthright here. Uh, I don't know what Birthright does for us, but I want it. We will pop this and just see what we end up getting. Unfortunately, we didn't get what we wanted here. Um, I think we could buy the battery and then just go again. Yeah, there you go. Right. Can I actually do this this time? Right, what, what comes before Birthright? It's the battery, I believe. Let me just check that. Yes, okay. So, pause on the battery. I've lost it. I've lost my ways. I've lost my touch. I, I, I used to be so good at it. And apparently I've just lost it. I'm just not good at it anymore. It's, 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 it's kind of depressing me, actually. I think I just need to stand a little further away from the item. I think I'm standing a bit too close to it. I think that's my main issue right now. And it's uh, it's it's thoroughly depressing me. Because now we've missed out on two great items. I don't even know what Tainted Azazel's Birthright is. I think it's just like full brimstone, isn't it? Like it just gives you full brimstone. Ow, forgot how that guy worked for a second there. Eh, I was going to say we don't really need that, but we do. We do. It's basically free. Oh, god damn. Hopefully soon I won't. I mean, the battery isn't bad. Being able to store double charges, considering we're not going to be using it all the time, is really good. Just if I miss another one this run, especially another good one, I'm, I'm going to be hella sad. At least we've got one good one, and uh, actually two good ones. We've got nine, 9 Volt and the Tainted Crown, which I think... Uh, not Tainted Crown, sorry, the Tainted Mask thing, which I think are both really good. Okay. I'm just trying to flawless our boss because we're going to get hella luck upgrades if we do. That's the good thing about this, uh, this Clover Victory thing. It just gives you so many luck upgrades. Nice. We have not seen our item room yet. But either way, this is a special run. And just a demonstration of how st stupid I am. Okay. Right, here, I don't really know what we want here. This is one where, honestly, I'll take whatever. Uh, let's take Akladama, maybe, because Akladama does have synergies now. What does it come after? Juicy Sack. Okay, so stand a tiny bit more away than normal. There you go, we got it. Yeah, Akladama, um... Okay, great. Akladama, oh no, no, it only works in combat rooms. I was just about to say it doesn't work, but I think it only works in combat rooms. Yeah, I got a, I got a mod that gives the Akladama tier synergies, so we might end up getting a few cool ones of them. They were all look upgrades, holy shit. A um, lot of good stuff here. I think Squeezy is probably the best option. Stand a little bit further away than before. And then go, actually there's a, there's a damage upgrade in there. 
Okay, so pause on Squeezy. Grab Glass Eye. Damage and luck. Oh my god, our luck's insane. We can get permanent Spirit Sword, but I think Sacred Orb is, of course, the, the, the choice to take here. I think we stand, like... It's really hard to, like, get where you're supposed to stand. So we want to take Spirit Sword, Mask. Okay, there you go. So the Masks. Good. Sacred Orb should be pretty great for us here. Um, basically meaning that the five items it cycles between are always going to be of higher quality. Which is great. Does mean our item pools will get uh, drained a little quicker. And we'll, we'll, we'll miss out on some good items here and there. But it should mean that overall the items we, we are getting are much, much better. Oh, hello. Thank you for the uh, secret room reveal. Right. You can go to Timbuktu. Some Saki Sakis. Good, good. Crack that guy. Take us to the shop. The shop is where we reside. Half out there. Oh god, this is an annoying, annoying room indeed. Good, good, we got it. I'm going to go in here, no matter what. Oh, interesting catch room here. There you go. Oh, golden bombs as well. Hell yes. Hell yes. Right, through we go. No, thank you. All I want is to shop. Ooh, this guy's looking cool. Okay, we managed to burn him. Oh my lord. The brimstone burn on that guy was uh, quite, quite impressive. It worked splendidly well. <laughs> Okay, keep going. We've already found our secret room. I was just going to bomb there and then realize we've already found it. I think this guy could do with a burn. There you go. Should make him a little easier to kill. You got burned as well. Okay, Leech, you can take care of that fly, can't you? Thank you. Akeldama doing its thing. Ooh, we got some uh, trinkets in here. Okay, none of them are, none of them are decent. I mean, Night Soil's okay, but I think it we've got right now is much, much better, I think. Night Soil has a 40% chance to remove a curse on, on New Floor. It's kind of like weaker Black Candle. It's decent enough. we got so much luck right now. Rotten Hearts tend to half Red Hearts when lost. Uh, if we had Heart Containers, I'd actually consider taking that. Make Rotten Hearts way, way better, but we don't even have Red Heart containers, so it's completely worthless for us, for us right now. I can't believe that Golden Bomb hit neither of them. Crack. Another Golden Bomb. I wish you're getting two Golden Bombs on one floor did something for you. Obviously, it'd be kind of overpowered if it did, but I don't know what it'd do. Maybe just give you Giga Bombs on the rest of the floor. That'd be kind of funny. Right. Oh, that was second secret room. I kind of wasn't expecting that to be... Correct. Hello. Hello, Gideon. Unfortunately, we do not have a Chaos card. I believe this card here did have the chance to be a Chaos card, but sadly, we did not get so lucky. I believe that's one from Rooms Galore with quite low weight. It's a very rare room. I still think we've just walked straight past our shop. Okay, we're just going the complete wrong way in general. Oh my god, you idiot. Got rid of my burn heart. How could you? Oh, why didn't I fill up the burn heart with that red heart right there? There's a red heart in a room I was just in. And my brain just didn't even comprehend the fact that it would have been very, very easy and simple for me to have... Uh, me to have gotten, picked up that red heart and saved my burn heart there. I'll let the leech fill it at least, but... Nope. I got I got feeble brain sim syndrome right here. Can't even speak, you see? It's obvious. Can't even speak. Oh my god. Charge key here. Ooh. Okay, right. I think we want money equals power. Which comes after pinking shears, I believe. Yeah, it does. Okay. So pinking shears. Nice one. Money, money equals power is going to be a good amount of damage. Here's our shop. Electric dice. Stopwatch, though, is, is pretty amazing. 
But electric dice is... Electric dice is electric dice. Uh, it comes after... Smelter, I think? First smelter. Yeah, okay, okay. The smelter. Electric dice. Hell yes. Considering, um... Considering we've got a situation already where we're already getting double active charges, I can imagine it's going to be insane. Electric dice gives that active the chance to activate one or two more times. Once we trade out, um... Once we trade out... What's it called? Um... Can't even remember what I'm trying to say now. Uh, coupon. It should be really good. Right. Probably want to go after this. There you go. Good, good. And I think we're good to go on this floor. Yeah, this is this is a good run. <laughs> the tainted mask as well is doing doing us some great stuff. And I keep forgetting we've still got flyboy, so we're still getting upgrades per floor. We're getting like damage ups and stuff per floor. And we have thirteen luck. Basically, if you get the item that gives you uh, boss rewards upon clear, uh, clearing the boss without getting hit, you have infinite luck. You'll just keep getting luck constantly. Okay. This one's a little difficult. I think we want to take Hive Mind. Apple, Hive Mind. Okay, so pause on the apple. No, we got Charge Baby. That's fine, that's fine. That doesn't bother me. Right, uh, then we're gonna go. Keeper's sack is decent, but like, not necessary for us. I shouldn't have used my money. I don't know why I used my money to reroll. Um, Soul Converter's also, like, the Converter's also a decent pickup here. Okay, converter. Okay, we'll, we'll go. We'll go black candle here. Oh, we'll go soul converter. Oh my god, it converted four of them in one use. <laughs> okay, that works for me. Um, I really don't think any of those are that worthwhile. Okay. Do you know what? Let's just pop it. Then we'll get some other charges. We'll try and take Tower Cloth here. I need to get better at it. So PhD, Blanket. Okay, it's Blanket. Yeah, there you go. And this one. Ooh, Foiled Tower. There you go. Uh, this one we can go for. The Cheese Grater could actually be an interesting one. Although Ballot's always fun. Edgeless Cube Baby's also good too. Take the cheese grater though. I'm gonna pop it once. Get some tiny azazels here. We'll keep this though for now. Right. We'll, we'll basically we're we'll co co coming back to that once we have the money. Why'd I go around like that? It was stupid. Oh god, I I just hurt myself real bad. Okay, good stuff. We got some more usage out of this. Uh, still not great. Although, what's that one again? There's a. Keeper's Penny. Um, okay. Keeper's Penny's pretty good because it spawns a golden penny at the start of every floor. We should try and get that. We just need another charge first. We are on Dank Depths 2 as well. So this is our last proper shop. A more money. Good, good. Good for the damage, but it's better for the rerolls. Ow. What the heck? Oh my god, I need to be careful. I'm getting hit a lot right now. I should be fine, but... Play it a little more cautiously, at least. Two mega chests. Ooh, this is... I don't know. Depends how many keys they take each. Okay, that one was good. Okay, do you know what? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll do it. I'm doing do both. Just don't take all my keys, please. Okay. Right. We could get some extra luck. Uh, I think PJs is actually the way to go here, though. So, we want to go after the Clover. Nope, we just get the Clover. I'm really bad at this. We do now have 20 luck, though, so that's fine. What does the Broken Masks do? Okay. 
I think Fate's actually probably the best thing for us here. Fate comes after the golden thing. Okay. I need to get this just right. There you go. Because we need the Eternal Heart, but also Flight is just, like, very, very nice for us right now. Okay. Right, let's go back to the shop. Do our thing. We've got so much money. My lord, so much money. I'm going to pop this just because I think it's funny. Oh, we got, a, we got a golden penny out of it as well anyways. You see? You never know what you're going to get. Because it can spawn glitter bombs, it makes it so good. God damn, the penny won't stop. It's a good golden penny. There you go. Right, okay. So, go back. Back to the shop. Pop this immediately. Try our best to get the penny. Okay, so mystery box. Uh, sorry, not mystery box. Bloody in a box. There you go. We got it. That's great. Then we pop this again. And we get uh, what we got here. We got... What's the possum head do? Converts pickups into orbital, into burn orbitals. That's kind of interesting. Unfortunately, none of them are very good. Alabaster box is kind of the best thing there. But you know what? I'm going to keep rolling. BFF would probably be pretty good here. Diplopia actually is probably the best thing. So it goes... I think it's BFF then Diplopia. Yes, it is. Okay, so... We need to get another charge first, though. See if we can do that. What the hell is this room? Keep forgetting they aren't required for room clear. Right. Go. Imagine if Diplopia activated multiple times. Now that would be in insane. Right. So now we go back through over here. We pop this again. And we try and grab Diplopia. So on BFF. Got Diplopia. But we wait. We try and add some more items into the mix first. This will probably break the reroll machine. This next reroll. There you go. And we... Okay, first of all, I think we... Hmm. Now, let's just pop it. Oh my god, what did I do? It did activate it multiple times. Holy shit, game. What the fuck? <laughs> um... I don't even know how I meant to do anything in this room. Right. Give me that, I guess. Give me whatever this is. Let me leave this hellscape. Holy fuck. I didn't think it would work. <laughs> what the shit game? There's so many coupons. Honestly, there's some cool stuff in here. I don't think we're getting any of what we want. <laughs> I think we just have to roll the dice and see what we get. The mine's pretty good here. The body's pretty good here. Stigma, a yeah, whatever. Tech L, okay. <laughs> okay, right, get rid of some of these pedestals. Fuck me. Right, butt bombs. I, I do want Spoonbender. That is one that I am going to actively try and get. So Spoonbender comes after, comes after the little baby thing. Okay, we got Spoonbender, good. Fuck me. Right. I want the soul as well here, just to say that I got the mind, body, and soul. Comes after the red... Oh, no, it comes after coupon, I think. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, coupon. Oh, my God. This is so confusing. Uh, nope, I got odd mushroom. Doesn't matter. Right. Got mum's contact here. That. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lusty blood, hell yeah. Fuck me. Dead eye, hell yes. 
Nerve pinch. Don't even know what that is. Oh my goodness. Polly is in there too. We could get another mind. Uh, I do want Polly though. Uh, what's what's before Polly? Is it is it the body that yeah body then Polly? We got Polly. Good. Fucking hell. Right, this is just kind of get whatever. Okay, we got the coupon again. Smart fly. That was like the worst out of the bunch there, sadly. Oh my god. I do want um, spin down dice, but I... Re do you know, do I want spin down dice though? Because with the extra activations, it's going to be super hard to track what we're getting at any one time. So I'll take purity. Uh, fruitcake would be awesome here. Uh, so let's try and get fruitcake. Fruitcake comes after greater, I think, on this one. Yeah, it does. Okay, so greater. Fruitcake, there you go. My god. Right, this is just a Hail Mary. Let's just grab whatever we can grab. Okay, get, let me out. I'm stuck. Fuck me. I, I can't even grab the, this pedestal here. There's a pedestal that's like glitching out and I can't get to it. All right, this one, sulfuric acid, there you go. This one, Bozo. We got one one left and I just can't get it. Like look at this look at this one here. Let me let me in. Don't want plum flute. Don't want cheese grater. Gimme! We got hot milk. Okay. Oh my god. And we got Schrodinger's Tears. Alrighty then. I I really... Yeah, I was hoping to get um, some other stuff there, but... Well, that was uh, eventful, I'll say. That was eventful. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Okay, so do you remember um, Akladama adopts our synergies? Yeah, well, that's uh, that's gotten a bit weird. C-section's in there as well. I gotta try and get C-section. Right. C-section comes after Fate. Yeah, got it. Don't even know if this will work as this guy. Oh, it does. And it does some weird stuff. I wouldn't really know what to call that. That doesn't really look like C-section, I'll be honest. Also, Toxic Shock with 50 damage is uh, a little nutty. Look at this actual damage. Whoa, we're firing spirit swords like crazy. What the hell? <laughs> oh my lord. What is happening right now? Couldn't tell you. Yeah, we've, uh, we've, we've created a nightmare. <laughs> so, what I think happened, by the way, with Diplopia, is, of course, you can normally um, use car battery to duplicate Diplopia's effect, but Electric Dice, however, does not abide by the same rules. It does not have a limit on can't be used on single-use actives, which I imagine is a bug that will promptly be fixed. But, for right now... It's got some sauce. <clears throat> this is fucking stupid. Can I get in here? I do have sulfuric acid, don't I? There you go. Uh, yeah, I, 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 our C section's a little, a little funky. It's not really C section. It's, it's more something else. This is just hail mary. Take whatever. Sacred Heart is um, particularly good on this one. Right. Holy Water it is. There you go. Double our damage. Nice and spicy. Let's keep it going. <laughs> my god, my god, my god. It's so very beautiful. It's so very beautiful. I don't even need the golden penny. I mean, to be fair, we are going to get hella damage ups from picking up coins. 
So it might be worth taking the golden penny, actually. I suppose at the end of the day, does it really matter? I'm really hoping we get a better active soon as well. Like, the active we've got now is great, but it's not going to be of any use to us. Especially now that we can't go to Hush either. We've got a soul of Bethany in here somewhere. There it is. Gimme, gimme. Oh my lord. I love the Akaldama synergy. Akaldama synergies. Okay, just, just, just bomb it. Get out of here. Piece of chalk, I'm fine, thank you. This is um, quite the bizarre little synergy we got going on here. To be fair, we might as well open that. We got a red heart right there. Good, good. And this held nothing for us. It just killed it instantly, whatever it was. A bunch of trinkets and a tainted trinket there as well. Um, enemies become more aggressive, spawn extra rewards for clearing rooms. Hell yes. That sounds just what I want. It sounds like just what I want. Extra rewards. That's, that's quite the extra reward right there. <laughs> Enemies are tougher. Of course they are. Oh, it's a door mimic, you cheeky fucker. I know it's just a second too late. Down we go. At 23 luck. Not bad, not bad, just 23 luck. I'm really bad at, like, pinning the secret room location here, so I'm going to try my best. There you go. Oh, hello. Um, we don't really have anything great there, so I'm just going to take whatever. Lawful would have been fun, but we've only got one more floor of lawful being any use. <laughs> oh, we're going to get so many items on the chair, on the uh, dark room, because they're just... We're getting triple payouts from rooms. This is nuts. It's going to be dumb. It's going to be dumb. With this much luck, this... Whoever made this trinket did not consider someone having this much luck. <laughs> Ever. I'm going to play this guy. I know we're going to lose damage, but I'm going to say it pays out with a, an item and it could be very good for us. We got the infinity dinner, jubs, um, can only be used if at least, trying to read it, at least one heals, I don't, I don't even know what that was. Can only be used if you have at least one broken heart, heals one broken heart, hearts and spawns an item. Okay, so we need Broken Hearts for that to work, so it doesn't really work for us. The Infinity, yes, I guess, is better for us right now. D1 did get a pretty big nerf, so it's not going to be as good, but still. So still. Hello. <laughs> There you go. A few, few big spirit swords on the screen to cheer you up. Uh, what the fuck? Ha what the hell happened then? What was all that about? What? Uh, why did it D7 upon us being hit? Uh, please don't do that again. Also, why does it say minus 133 damage? I do not know. Yeah, I, I really don't know what just happened there. Please don't do it again. Um, apparently, we automatically get hit upon pe of defeating that wave of Satan. Strange, I guess.
You're a Dominic, you cheeky fucker. I see you. The ability to smell some trinkets. I will at least... Oh, I can, actually, because I'm an idiot. Yeah, I don't have any soul hearts. I just need to bomb this to get that back. Give me that back. Yeah, I can't use this. I don't have any soul hearts. It requires soul hearts to be used. Oh, my God. Yeah, I had a feeling this was going to be uh, something that happened. Again, I think at this point, we just take whatever we can get. Like, we don't, we don't really care. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so nuts. Right. X-ray vision is kind of meh. Manuscript's okay. Actually, it's not, because we've got full red hearts. We should have probably kept the sun, to be honest. A bit of a goober for, uh, for using it there. I was thinking, let's get full mapping, and I realised. We already have full mapping. We've got the mind, body, and soul. Contagion. God diggity damn. Suplex? Sadly not suplex. Oh, and it bloody took away my charges as well, you goober. Right, leave that there for a second. And that as well. Right, Sally flies there. Okay, back we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh, I love it. This run is on fire. This run is on fire. Oh my god. This is just overkill for overkill's sake. Right. One I'm gonna do one more de-warning and then we'll uh we'll we'll get to opening everything, because we've got a lot of stuff to open now. Right. So this, this. Are these all gonna cost hearts? Oh, I thought they were all maybe gonna cost hearts. Right, take whatever that is. Take whatever that is. Take whatever that is. And that. And that. Just just grab everything forever. Of course we grabbed guillotine by accident there. The book of sin, really. Could have got here Malacria. Book of sin though. Post hat's kinda nice here. Get some of these chests out of the way. Take whatever that is. We got quad shot. Oh, turtle, turtle melon baby was in there. Oh, I missed him. So sad. That's. Oh. Have we already breakfasted ourselves? Wow, that was quick. That was quick. Yeah, because we're, we're, we can't get like lower tier items now. So all we're getting is we we, we breakfasted ourselves very fast. That's pretty cool though. Yeah, because we see we see so many items, five items with every item we open. Okay, can you calm down a minute? Twenty twenty, and distant admiration. Sci fly, we managed to get sci fly there. Good old void chest. Void it up now, we all. Give us some breakfast. It did not. Right. Yeah, everything's gonna be breakfast now. The one problem with sacred um sacred orb, it is gonna cause breakfasting very quickly. Boom boom. Nice, you have been deaded. Well then, that uh, that brings this run to a close. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was um, insane. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.